it's clear to see that Kamala Harris's plan to use our beloved Medicare program to cover illegal aliens is a bad idea. I've always been for Medicare for All. We would have to go from the current system into a Medicare for All system. Medicare for All is my plan. My health care proposal is a Medicare for All proposal. I have a Medicare for All plan. But do you know how bad Kamala Harris's plan really is? I want to give you five quick reasons to oppose this plan that you can share with your friends and family so we can kill this terrible idea and keep Medicare safe and secure. Number one, it'll drain our Medicare program. Look, seniors have paid into the Medicare program their entire lives to receive quality care in their later years. And adding 12 million illegal aliens who haven't paid their fair share, that'll drain it quickly, plain and simple. Number two, it'll limit access to doctors and nurses. You guys know it's hard enough to get an appointment with a doctor you trust. If Kamala's Medicare for All plan goes through, and she floods the system with 12 million illegal aliens. Wait times are gonna go up, access is gonna go down. That's a fact. Number three, spending is gonna soar. Just adding 12 million illegals to Medicare through Kamala's Medicare for All plan will cost close to $2 trillion. That'll drain our Medicare program. That's trillion with a T. That's money that you and I, that's money that we're gonna have to pay back. Number four, payments to doctors will be cut. This is gonna result in fewer doctors available to patients and even worse healthcare access for our parents and grandparents in need. Number five, Kamala's Medicare program for all plan adds 12 million illegal aliens to our Medicare program. That's 12 million. That's a gold-plated invitation of millions and millions more illegal immigrants to flood our border and flood our healthcare system. Look. Don't let your family and friends fall for the lies. Kamala Harris's Medicare for All plan to give free health care to legal aliens is anything but free. It'll cost all of us. Let's kill this idea before she kills the Medicare program America loves.